Hi guys, hope everybody's doing well. This is my uh, original uh, wood gasifier vacuum blower. Uh, I had a few questions on how I put that together, so I'm gonna attempt to show you guys what I did, except this was a four by four inch uh, tube that I made that out of, but I'm gonna show you how I made a different design, which I think is better and easier. Um, and this one is round. This is the one I came up with. So I'll show you how I put that together. Okay, so I started with three six inch steel plates. They're all about an eighth inch thick. Got these right down at the steel yard for scrap and these were like a dollar a piece. They were super cheap. So I'm gonna throw the first one in the lathe and make a ring out of one of them. So I'm just cutting out the center. Um, and you can use a hole saw or a jigsaw or whatever you want to cut that out with, but that lathe made it real easy. And there's the ring all finished. And then I have my one inch by eighth inch stock, flat stock, that I'm gonna put through the slip roll machine and make a six inch circle with that. Cut it to my length. And then I'm just gonna throw it through the slip roll machine real quick. And I'm going to weld that to my one of my plates. And there's the motor I'm going to use. That is approximately 3.6 inches. So just remember that dimension. So half of that's 1.8 inches. And we're going to use that dimension later. And then on the back side is the motor and that's 1.4 inches. So we're gonna cut a hole 1.4 inches on the bottom plate and also on the top plate right there for this intake, we're just gonna use the same dimension, 1.4 inches. And it's a 14.4 volt and that's a Model E, I believe. Model E as an Ed. So I got, uh, the model I got has aluminum fins on it. I didn't want anything plastic. Of course, the, the back is plastic, but the fins are aluminum, so that's, that's good. Withstand some heat. So here's my dimension. I'm going 1.8 inches from the inside of that ring, and that's where I'm going to make my 1.4 inch hole on the top plate and the bottom plate. So there's my mark for 1.8 inches from the inside of the ring. That's where my motor is going to go. And I have both plates together right now. And I'm going to cut the 1.4 inch hole. So that'll be the intake and the, uh, the motor hole. So there's both done and I'm welding that bottom plate to my ring I made, six inch ring that I made on the slip roll machine. And that's done. That's the bottom plate with the 1.4 inch hole in it for my blower motor. I'll just show you quickly how that's going to go together. I'm just sandwiching that blower right in between this. So I'll put that ring on top and I'm going to weld that ring on. So that's how I put it together. And then 
that'll be the exhaust pipe one and a half inch NPT pipe and there's the intake and I'll weld a pipe on that side also and there's the exhaust pipe hole I'm putting in and I'm gonna weld that ring on and that's what my top plate will attach to is that ring So there we go. All I need to do is put the top plate on and put some bolts in there. And there's my bolt pattern. I just have eight bolts, quarter 20s. Uh, that's, so that's a 201 drill size. So I'll drill to, through both plates right now. 201. And that is for a quarter 20 tap. There's my tap. Be real careful with your tap because you can break it real easy. And I did break one and I had to break it out. And that's not fun. Then I'll make my clearance hole for the top plate. That's about a quarter inch hole. Cutting my pipe in half. And I'll weld that onto my exhaust. and to my intake. Weld that up real quick. It's all welded up. I use stainless steel to weld those up and that makes a real nice weld. But you could use whatever you want. So now I'm gonna weld the intake pipe on. Don't forget that's one and a half inch NPT. There we go, that's pretty much finished up. I'm just gonna give it a quick paint job. And that's that ceramic paint that's like goes up to 2,000 degrees. That's, that's pretty good stuff. There we go, I'm just gonna silicone that with some high heat silicone and I'm pretty much putting that on every surface to make a good seal and I just have a little bit of play on on that when I put it together and that silicone will fill up all the gaps Make sure you put it quite a bit right there and get make that seal real real good. And that's pretty much the finished product guys. I hope that helps you out. Pretty pretty simple design. 
and that works quite well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.